According to the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, the south central and eastern regions of Pennsylvania are currently the most impacted from the Canadian wildfires. We head now to Harrisburg, where the air quality for the region has been very unhealthy in the last few days. Erie News Now State Capitol correspondent Brendan Scanlon is standing by with the latest. Brendan, good evening. How is it there? Mike and Eva, good evening. That's right. Well, at the moment, things really not too bad. I can actually look up and see some blue in the sky uh, for the first time in a few days. Now, I will step aside here. I'll give you a good look outside the state capitol, looking down toward the Susquehanna River, where the visibility and air quality have been very poor leading up to today. Despite air quality concerns in a hazy Harrisburg, many are still taking advantage of an otherwise beautiful day. It hasn't really altered our plans much. Chris Rafferty stopped in Harrisburg on his way from upstate New York to Maryland. He recalls wildfire smoke in the past, but not quite like this. We did experience some of the wildfires from out west in the states. So it was similar, but not this severe. Even though he won't be rolling with the windows down, he still plans on enjoying his trip and the stops along the way. Keeping the windows up, but that's usually how we do it when we're on the highway. But some experts warn driving with the windows up will become more common. Climate change is real. The impacts of it are occurring in ways that we probably didn't expect. John Dernbach is a professor of environmental law and sustainability at Widener University. He says Canada has the largest intact forest ecosystem in the world and that they're also experiencing record high temperatures. It's not like every single forest fire is caused by climate change, but the scientific community says, well, look, climate change makes fires more frequent, more intense, and extends the length of the fire season. So it's all worse because of that. He says if temperatures continue to rise, wildfires will become more common and more severe in the future. It's not like we're going to get to a point where the temperature is just going to stop rising unless, unless we do something really serious about reducing our, our greenhouse gas emissions. And now up until about 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon here in Harrisburg, we were at a purple air quality index, which is very unhealthy. We've since been bumped down to a red, so it seems like it's slowly improving, but I'm no John Stalen. I will leave that up to the experts. For now, reporting live outside the state capitol in Harrisburg for Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scanlon. Mike and Eva, back to you.